I'm having problems with my desktop PC. We're gonna resolve it today. Uh, let me show you what's going on with the computer. Well, as soon as I plug it in, you see an amber light flashing. And this is one of the most common issues with Dell Optiplex um, desktop PCs. So you can see this is Optiflex 755. I'm gonna just turn it like this to see the inside. Okay, so we're gonna remove everything so we can see the board. Now we see the CMOS battery. This is most probably the issue because CMOS batteries expire after five years and this is a very old desktop PC. It's a 10 year old computer. So we're gonna remove the CMOS battery and then it's a Panasonic CR2032 3 volts. So I went to the mall today to buy a new battery. So this is the one I bought. So this is a Maxell CR2032 3 volts made in Japan. So we're gonna put this in here and then just push it in. So let's see what will happen. Um, we're gonna do a hard reset and then make sure everything is unplugged nothing here okay and then we will be pressing and holding the power button for about one minute just hold it down okay so as you can see it's still flashing so it didn't work look I actually went to the computer repair shop and uh, they advised me that the motherboard is already damaged so it needs to be replaced already so that's what we're gonna do I contacted someone already who is selling a second-hand motherboard we tried doing several things already I tried to check the RAMs all good the hard drive all good the power supply I already checked it's all good we're now left with the motherboard the next day I met with a guy who sells the motherboard and now I have two CPUs so my main mission right now is to transfer the hard drive and the RAMs over to the working motherboard and then also swap the power supply let's do this this is it guys this is the moment of truth I'm gonna plug it in and let's see what happens Oh my goodness, nothing is happening. It's not blinking, but there's no display. So it didn't work the first time, but I can hear that the um, hard drive is running. It's some sort of vibrating. So right now, I tried to troubleshoot it. We're going to try again. What I did was that I removed one of the rams which i suspect to be broken so let's try again let's turn it on there's a light and uh, it's all running we're just hoping that there would be some sort of display here oh my goodness it works Okay, I just need to set it up 
but now it works finally what I did was I removed the other memory cards I actually removed two leaving just one um, so I suspect the memory slots are defective now I'm gonna check one by one which slot is still working and then put back the other two but this is the first time after a long time that I see a display here so our project is a success